Yo, awesome guys, back in another video. So, as most of you know, in my last video, I looked at the whole controversy surrounding Nessa Barrett throwing it back to the Quran. And since this, there's been even more controversy involving Nessa Barrett, where allegedly she's broken up with her boyfriend. Josh Richards and both sets of fans are going crazy about this. But before I even jump into that, I just want to talk about how Nessa Barrett's TikTok comments are literally flooded with the hijab comment. It's clear to see the Muslim community and her fans as a whole are not letting her get away and try and move on from the situation and still reminding her every day of what she's done. On my video alone, I had hundreds of comments, not only just from Muslims, but the community as a whole saying how disappointed and ashamed they were and in disbelief how she got away with it scotch free. She was getting so much more more hate and backlash even after her apology on her latest TikTok, she literally disabled the comments. I even saw one comment underneath one of her recent TikToks, which was quite popular, where one person said, I get such bad vibes from her now. So it's obvious her fans and the general TikTok community are not letting her get away with it this easily because it's clear to see she's trying to quickly move on and the fans aren't accepting it. But obviously, people haven't actually seen her final response on the whole situation. She uploaded it to TikTok around a week ago and here's it in its entirety. I've apologized before, but many people have felt that my apology just wasn't good enough. So I want to come on here and make it clear that I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I've hurt and offended. I love all people, whatever religion, race, shapes, and sizes. You can be upset that what I'd done was ignorant, but you cannot be upset at me for being hateful as there's just no hate in me. I saw a video of a cute older man and decided to use the audio, and if I had known that it was something so sacred, I would have never used it. Unacceptable as it was my mistake and not theirs. This will be the last time that I'm talking about it, but again, I just want to make it clear and say that I am truly and deeply sorry to those that I've hurt and offended. I hope everyone stays safe and I love you all. I think one of the main concerns that stemmed from the situation in her original response, it was done so poorly. She said, I think I'm sorry, like Jesus Christ, what sort of response is that to this magnitude of a situation? Of course, from her video, mocking Islam as a whole, Muslims are really offended from this. And here's some of their takes on this whole situation. I really didn't want to make this video, but I feel like I have to because everybody keeps asking my opinion, even though I said I'll explain this once and once only on my live. Put this video out there just so everybody can see it, not the people that were just in my live. We all know the girl that danced to the Quran. We all know who she is. And there's no point in me saying her name or tagging her or doing any of that because I don't want to give her the clout and the attention she's seeking. Whether it's bad clout or good clout, it's still clout. Now, whether what she did was for attention or just because she's an ignorant person or she really didn't know what it was, I think that everybody makes mistakes. And I don't think we should cancel someone because of one mistake. I'm sure we've all made mistakes in the past. And the best thing to do is just forgive and not forget. I don't believe in cancel culture at all. That's really toxic. And honestly, I guess I'm just not a problematic person, but I see a lot of Muslim brothers and sisters out here bashing her, but that's not gonna do us any good. It's gonna make us look like the bad guys. Just report or block. The main problem with her individual situation, of course, everyone makes mistakes, you should forgive and forget, but she's offended over one billion people. There's a bit of a difference. I've been waiting. I have been waiting for a scandal to come across for the Muslim community. I've been waiting. And that's a bro thought it would be cute. She thought it would be classy, bougie, whatever, to throw back to the Quran. If you don't know what the Quran is, it's a um, religious scripture that we as Muslims believe was handed down from God to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This girl thought it would be cute and funny to dance to it. Not only dance to it, but throw her non-existent butt back. Now, I am not, actually I am one to usually call people out, I always call people out. But the fact that she said, I think I'm sorry, says a lot about her character. And another, her stepmom is Egyptian. That does not mean that she has a past to defile, to disrespect a whole religion. That doesn't make any sense. Just because your stepmom is black doesn't mean you can go around saying the N-word. Um, if you support her, unfollow me. And also, F you, Nessa Barrett. One of her main points is in her first initial response to this whole situation, she was trying to justify saying, oh yeah, my mom's Egyptian, as if that makes the whole situation better. Nessa, sweetie, I don't know you. And I doubt anybody here on TikTok would even know you if it wasn't for your big blue-eyed boyfriend. Now here's homegirl's weak apology. So basically here she's just saying like, I'm only 17, I'm still learning. I'm 17, you don't see me dancing and throwing it back to the words of God. Like that's completely disrespectful and it's totally like, I, whether you knew the audio or not, like what made you think it was funny <laughs> to dance to an audio 
of an old man. This was an old man reciting the Quran. Like, what made you think it was funny to dance to that audio in the first place? And then she want to claim she's Muslim. How is you saying you're Muslim helping? That's just even worse. Because how are you Muslim and you don't know the Quran? How are you Muslim and you got a boyfriend, girl? You got some explaining to do. And I didn't even want to see a comment saying, it's fine, you're overreacting, it's a joke. Don't even, oh my God, I don't want to see that. This is completely disrespectful in so many ways. This should not be taken lightly whatsoever. And I swear to God, if Nessa still has 6.1 million followers, I'm leaving TikTok because she don't deserve that. Overall, it's clear how many people she affected, the extent of this whole situation, and only time will tell if those people do end up forgiving her. Talking about forgiveness, if you did far onto the video and you're still not subscribed, here's my chance to forgive you. Join the Loaf Army and smash that red button. Moving on from that, like I stated at the start of the video, both Nessa's fans and Josh's fans have been claiming all over social media that the pair have broken up. This all started when Nessa's fans were taking screenshots of Nessa's like tweets where she was liking all these breakup quotes the exact same ones Charlie liked when she broke up with Lou Hoodie. Also on that exact same day Josh Richards tweeted out some people are so effing selfish dude. It seemed like too much of a coincidence to not make sense especially with the controversy surrounding Nessa at the time. Even yesterday on YouTube some guy made a video talking about how they broke up and of course this set of fans going crazy. As you guys know on my channel I like to give the most actual scars like their shout outs. Whether you're sitting there watching this with four toes or five you're like you know what just give me a shout out. All you gotta do just be active on the channel whether that's constantly liking, comment, subscribing, all different videos. And today, so I got someone called Oliver Puffer, man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. On Twitter, all their fans were like, please don't tell me you broke up. There's no chance you broke up. You're my favorite couple. Like, the world is about to bloody end or something. But don't worry, boys and girls. All you TikTok fans out there, I have the official news and answers that have been on the tip of your tongue. After conclusive research, looking at her Twitter page, I saw 12 hours ago, she tweeted out, can I show love to my best friends on Twitter without y'all thinking I broke up with my boyfriend? Lol, we didn't break up, silly goose. So for all you silly, silly geeses out there that came to the assumption and conclusion Josh and Nessa broke up, now you look bloody stupid. Anyway guys, that's about the video. I hope you didn't enjoy. I'm really interested to know your guys' thoughts about this whole situation. Do you think Nessa's gonna make a stronger and even better recovery or do you think she really is cancelled? But make sure to follow up my social media, Instagram at LiveTube. Same with the Twitter, but if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.